what's up youtube my name is indiana welcome back to my channel so as per usual i'm gonna be reacting and giving you my all the truth on these videos so here it goes episode five B -day. Now that we're going into week four with Division 2 9 and the division as a whole is starting to work together a lot better. Division 2 2 9 all present are accounted for, sir! Very well. The standard is set and they have to do what they can do to reach the standard. And that's helping bring them together as a team. They say that uh, basic training doesn't get better, you get better. I think that's definitely true. When we first picked the division up, we can barely. That's true. Most people think that when you get further in school camp, that it gets easier. That is not true. It's never going to get easier. You're just going to get better. So, you know, when you first get there, you're new to everything. You don't realize that there's a certain place for things. You don't realize that when you march, you have to you have to march a certain way. When you turn, you got to turn a certain way. Like So you're so new to things. But as you continue going on, it's easier because you're like, well, I got this. This is easy. Now I'm good marching. Now what else can I master? Okay, now I'm good with this. Now what else can I master? So yeah, so the further you get along, you're like, okay, well, I'm, I'm starting to get this. Like this is getting easier for me. But the program to get easier is literally just still the same. You just got better at the knowledge and you got better at doing what you were doing. So yeah, that's a fact. Get them to stand still and just let the right faith. But now coming to week four training, they've been marching everywhere, every single day together since the first day we got them. Now I'm marching every day. Now I'm marching every day. Hey. Yeah, our, our progression, it's been really cool seeing it and just looking back on our PDA days and the first day that we tried to start marching and how horrible it looked. And it's kind of like the progression just happened um, right before our eyes. The transition is night and day. Every time cadences come on, I'm always in the back screaming. You can hear my voice all the way in the front. The U.S. Navy is the best. The U.S. Navy is the best. The division has come a long way physically, but they still have a long way to go. Here at Recruit Training Command, we have physical fitness training six days a week. So about three days a week, we do some in-house physical fitness activities, which are a lot of push-ups, jumping jacks. I'm be, I'm be honest with y'all, the in-house PT was not that hard. It, it was not that bad. Like, you saw what they were doing. You like fluttered kicks. I remember when I was doing in-house PT, I always remember, I was like, is this yoga? Like, <laughs> it wasn't that easy, but it was like, the in-house PT, it's never hard. It's just, no, it's never hard. But, yeah. You guys see that. Like, it, like I remember, in-house PT was always fun to me, because it's like, you think you'll be, like, hard, but now you get in there, and it's just like, it's easy stuff. So, it's like, hmm. So, it's, for me, it was kind of like a chill, like a chill session, and chill out from all the yelling and the screaming and or like day, it was, to me it was like a like, relaxed moment in house PT, so yeah. Thanks. Different exercises that we can do right here in a small space to get the recruits in better shape. And then uh, four days a week, we go over to Freedom Hall where they get to run. Okay, so let me elaborate on the statement right here. So, intense physical fitness no, in boot camp, you don't even really be doing intense physical fitness. Like, no. When you get beat, okay, yeah. Like, there's only so many exercises they can do that they can, like, use to beat you with. Not that. They can use to beat you with in boot camp. So, like, they have this orange card, and it has, like, all the exercises that they can beat you with. So, for me, like, getting beat was probably the worst because you can be given the same exercise for, like, a long period of time, and you do it over and over again. So, of course, that's going to be you know, hard on your body because you're doing the same thing over and over again. And then if you're not fit, like fit before you come in, yeah, it's gonna be hard for you because you're not used to that. So that was the only thing that was hard for me. But as like as far as like the PT goes, it's never hard. Okay, if you come in not knowing how to run, that's gonna get you, yes. But it says they struggle to meet the um, the standards. 
Most people struggle to meet the run. It's not really even the sit-ups or the push-ups. And even though I did see a couple people struggle with the sit-ups and the push-ups, you can actually get better with that in boot camp. Because I remember, like, even sometimes I'll wake up a little early just to practice sit-ups. Push-ups, if you need to practice, go ahead. But you'll be getting beat, so you're going to probably get that down quickly. But the sit-ups, I know people kind of struggle with. So if you need to, like, wake up a little bit earlier, you know, do some sit-ups... But yeah, I mean, it, I mean, I remember doing that a lot, but the setups were never hard, so, I mean, yeah, but the run. So, they say people struggle to meet the run, but people only struggle to meet the run because, I'm telling you, bootcamp, you don't run that much. Like, I remember, yeah, we had a couple sustained runs, and we had, there was running, but it's like, you're not running every other day or anything like that. Like, it's not enough running to keep you, like, e- keep you like okay I think I got this like you don't run that much there will be sustained runs there will be what do they call it they have different names for the runs I don't remember but I just remember it wasn't enough running so and then when you do the runs with the when you do the sustained runs and stuff you do it with the whole um you do it with the whole division so sometimes I feel like people need to learn at their own pace but when you're running with the whole division you have to stay with the division everybody has to stay together when you're running so, I remember that. Like, I didn't like that. I was like, what the, like, like, I feel like everybody learns at their own pace. But, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Before you go, just keep running. Keep, just keep running. Even if you got the run, keep running. I mean, because you don't really get to do it that much when you're there. So, yeah. Let's, let's keep it. So it's all a building block to get them up to the standard that the Navy wants them to be at prior to leaving the crew training command. Yeah, I've seen my waistline go down, which is awesome. Fitness is, is going well, you know. It, it also helps that we've been put on our faces every day. So I try to think about that when we have to do our little flow kicks and 10 count court builders. So it, it has certainly improved PZ for sure. Yeah. From my perspective, I do think we are a good friends, Chief. From a professional standpoint, yes, Chief. Professional. Explain to me what professionalism is when you're going out of your way to talk to each other. You're talking Ooh, to each other in an inappropriate way. Improved. PZ, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's read this. In addition to regular PT, recruits who need extra discipline are often... Oh, yeah. I'm like, what? Okay, yeah. So, I teach. If you're getting in trouble, you're going to get IT'd. So, remember how I say that they can beat you? They can beat you individually like by yourself. And that's, that's IT. So, or you can get beat, you can get divisional ITE as a division where they have you guys in your compartment for 45 minutes and they're running the orange cart for 45 minutes. So, I mean, that sucks. But you can get that by yourself, too. So... Yeah, don't don't be in there with no attitudes. Just do what you're supposed to be told, so you can get in, fit in, get out. <laughs> From my perspective, I do think we are good friends, Chief. From a professional standpoint, yes, Chief. Professional. Explain to me what professionalism is when you're going out of your way to talk to each other. You're talking to each other in inappropriate places. You're talking to each other when you should not be. So you tell me about professionalism. Well, you better it, fix your military just, bearing right now. I'm sorry, Chief. Chief. Shut up! All right, Chief. Here's the point. <laughs> what? Conversation. That threw me off. Shouldn't be had. Good friends. Not in my boot camp. Oh, yeah. Well, hold on. Let me pause real quick. Do not ever say that you are friends with somebody up in there. Because, like, think about it. You go, you're going there to train. And leave. Like. Oh, because we're good friends. What, like, what the, what? No, like, especially when you're in trouble or you're getting beat. Or even if they're ordering you to do anything, you shouldn't be talking to anybody. I remember that was a big thing for them. Just talking to people was a big thing. They did not like that. Especially if you were a female talking to a male, they definitely was not buying that. So, but even females talking to females, males talking to males, when they're, when they're in there, in a compartment, just don't even talk. Just be quiet. That that was I mean that was the thing I noticed like just when they're in there just be quiet 
okay when they leave yeah you might you know you know speak or something like that but when they're in there just don't talk because you can get in trouble for like maybe i don't know you can be like oh studying or something but they're like did i say that you know you could talk right now so yeah everything that you guys are doing is against good order and discipline I'm going to ensure that whatever relationship you're trying to have here in group one, whether it's just good friends, social buddies, or whatever you word it, I'm going to make sure that it doesn't happen here. Do the workout correctly. Get off your knees! Get off the deck! One, two, three. One, one two, three. After the Marlins fight, that's when our division got it together. So, like, after we did the Marlins fight, I remember before we all used to argue a lot. We, saw, we all used to not work together. But after this, we all started learning to work together. And it's weird because I, I guess with every division is like that. Because I kept hearing, like, the RDC saying, like, yeah, after, after, after this, every division gets it together. So, when you're in there, you have, you have to work together in order for you to pass. So, of course, you want to pass. You got to work together. So, I feel like after that, people just, like, learn, like, okay, well, you know what? We, we, could, we did it here. We can do it in the compartment. We can do it as a, as a division. So, yeah. And three. Up to the ship. One, two, three. Marlon Spike is a huge team evolution. Get up here! Go, go, go! So if a division feels that they, they operate as a team, they get the Marlon Spike and they find out exactly what real team work is. All right! Now you're going to put four figure eight! Learning how to tie a knot and cast off the line and actually tie down the ship, I felt like was more practical. Everybody has to be able to get the ship underway. So when it comes down to line handling, when it comes down to that Marlon Spike evolution, they got to work together. Life before Marlon Spike and life after Marlon Spike was night and day. Let's go, we got this, let's go! So that was really hard, but I felt like it made us, it forced us to work together. Every single sailor is a firefighter. Now, damage control training is uh, extremely important. Everybody has to know it. If they don't... I think firefighting was probably the most fun for me. So, firefighting is more towards the end, but it was the most fun for me. Because I feel like it was like more action, like you're doing more stuff. Well, firefighting and, li and live fire. Because, you know, we get to shoot. That was fun. But firefighting was really fun. I liked working and learning, all that stuff. It was like really fun for me. Yeah. Proper training, then you lose the ship, and that's one of the damage control team commanders. You do not give up the ship. You, you don't really think about all the things that can happen while you're in the middle of the ocean. You know, your ship going down or being attacked, and then really all you have is each other and the skills that you learn. Yes, I am. I, I'm, I'm really confident something was wrong. You know, for example, in the um, conference this chamber. This will be the best work day of boot camp for y'all. I want everybody to oh, repeat no. after me. Embrace the suck. Embrace the suck. You would think, okay, so is this mask really going to cover me and keep me alive? It's called confidence chamber for a reason. It gives you the confidence on the equipment of the Navy. It wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Girl, you did good. That's why. Oh, my gosh. Y'all need want to know how I did, like, one, I was all the way in the back. So, you know how there was, like, rows? I was all the way in the back. So, they're lighting the tear gas, and I can, I can I'm can, i feeling it all on my neck. Like, I remember I started feeling, like, right here where my hairline is, it started, like, sizzling. And I was like, oh, sh oh shit. 
Like, something's happening. So I'm like, what? I have to take my mask off, and, you, and I'm feeling the sizzling on my hairline right now. And my you, my mask is still on. So I'm like, damn, I'm all the way back here. So I get to, I get up there to my, to the front. They go, mask up, cupped up. So you got to go like that, because if you, you know, if you throw up, you got to open your head. It's nasty, right? Yeah, but we had to do it. But, okay, so, put a mask up, and the whole row has to say their name and the division. I was like, oh, my gosh. I remember, I, I remember, as soon as I put my mask up, the, um, pepper or whatever, it, it just tasted like pepper, like, like chili, like hot, spicy peppers. And I remember the first thing it went to was my throat. It was like, boom, straight to my throat. And I was like, like, I could barely even talk. And my eyes started burning. So I started like it was burning so bad I could I could barely cry. I don't know what was going on, but I was like, oh my god! So I was trying to say my name. I barely like passed this because I barely could say my name. But then I, I noticed some people just said it with ease. They were just they were fine. And I'm like, how are you all fine? Because I had such a bad reaction. Like it was hard for me to speak. So it's gonna work differently than everybody. As you see for her, it's like it was not that bad. For me, I had, like, a really bad experience with this. I didn't like it at all. But everybody's going to be different. So you can't really, like, get this too much in your head because everyone is going to have their own experience. So, yeah. I think on a scale of 1 to 10, I would have gave it, like, a 5. It burns. Oh, it still burns. Like, right under my nose, it burns. But I think we sliced it a little bit more than we did. But hold on, they went outside? Because after when we were done... They sent us right back into that room that we came out. It's like a classroom. So you're in the classroom first. You always do all the learning first. So if, like in firefighting, before you do anything, you're going to do all the classroom stuff first. So you're learning. And then after the classroom, then you do the activity. So we were in the classroom first, left, did a gas chamber, then came right back to the classroom. And I was so mad because I really wanted to go outside and get some air because it was just it was just too much. Like all of my skin. And I was like, I need to get some air. Like I am like, I want some milk. Like, I need I need some, I need to get dunked. Like... Oh, okay, but yes, outside. All right. just cried a lot. My eyes were watering. They're still watering. Yeah, I really didn't call for it. Like, it wasn't that bad as it was. You know what? Y'all got confidence in that gear? That's what I'm talking about. Y'all see this? That means it's a good day. Good day to be in the Navy. Who are y'all, Navy? I do believe that they're doing a lot better job. Getting these recruits a basic knowledge of what they're going to be expected to do once they get out to the fleet. So I know when I came to boot camp nine years ago, we had a three or four day course on firefighting and then two days on line handling. And now the recruits are getting it every single week once they hit week four until the, the week they graduate. And I think that will help prepare sailors for the fleet a lot better. One of the primary things that we all do as instructors is we give these recruits uh, the experience, the, the real life experience of, first of all, handling this weapon in an environment that's close to reality. It's not quiet, it's not passive. Uh, it, it's going to take enthusiasm to survive in an environment like this. So that's pretty much what we do. Okay, now I'm watching this video. Uh, if y'all live fire people are watching this, the people that work here, um, y'all need to recount my paper because I was supposed to get sharpshooter and they didn't give it to me. I definitely shot all of them in the middle of the person and they did not give me sharpshooter. So I want y'all to go back in there, check my paper, okay? It's going to say SR Jennings on it. Check the paper. Give me my qual. Cause I know I got sharpshooter, but all right. I didn't miss my target, which was great. So I think I did all right. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed shooting new, uh, shooting weapons. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mama, mama, can't you see? Mama, mama, can't you see? What the Navy's done to me? What the Navy's done to me? Since uh, the
the P days to now, they're they're completely different recruits. Every time we walk past um, Pearl Harbor, which is where dang this episode, they like mashing a lot of stuff together. They went from live fire to firefighting. Marlins, damn, they didn't they didn't mash in like a good two three weeks just in this video. But um, oh my gosh, marching. Like, you'll be mar you march so much. I remember, oh my gosh, especially like two weeks before graduation. I remember, like, me, my rack mate, she, I don't know how, but she always ended up right in front of me. So I always marched behind my rack mate. And I remember, this was like, yeah, like two weeks, before, two weeks before graduation. And we were marching like so long. Like, when you go to firefighting, you know, because firefighting is so far away, that march is going to be a march. So I remember. One day we were marching. Were we about to take pictures or something? I don't remember. But I remember she fell asleep. So even like even like you'll start to notice when you march, especially towards the end, you're gonna start to fall asleep when you march. I remember I was falling asleep. But I'm not sure how. I was still on this on the right count. I was on the right foot and I was marching in the right area. I don't know how, but I was asleep like sleep like this marching. I don't know how I did it. But yeah, I remember my reckoning. She was she fell asleep. And I remember. She wasn't marching the right way, so I literally, like, like I kind of, like, hid. I grabbed her, her backpack because she had it on, and I, like, was, like, staring her the whole time she was marching. Like, it was crazy. Like, you start to notice in the end, the march is going to get sleepy, and you have no other option. You have to march. But maybe that's how I was watching it. It was, like, bringing up memories. I'm like, mm -mm, I do not miss that march and stuff. We kind of see through the window the people in their PT and their sweatsuits and we're like, man, that was us only a few weeks ago. And that was us looking out the window at some of our senior divs. And we we're like, man, I wish I was there and they're marching and they have on their uniforms and their flags and that's so cool. And we just got here three days ago. They understand that they have to work together as a team. They understand that no one can make it through boot camp completely by themselves. That's the biggest thing and the thing that makes you the most proud as an RDC is when you see them work together as a team, understand each other's weaknesses and really, really just come together. Okay, well that was an interesting episode. It was a lot they put a lot into one episode. But yes, um man, this was a lot going on. Live fire and firefighting was my favorite out of every activity we did. So yeah, so just remember, all the everything you learn in boot camp is to prepare you for battle stations. Battle stations is the final test. So you know we're not allowed to speak about battle stations, but just make sure you pay attention to everything that you learn in there. So that way, when you get to your final test, you be straight. So yeah, again, thank you for watching my video, my channel.